Welcome back. Let's uh, let's spin the pregame spread slot machine. Which of our spread guys is going to come up for a visit? We kind of gave it away. Yeah, how about move on? How about Big Mo on a, on a Tuesday at a time, Mo? Good evening to you. When one of your old uniforms is struggling, man, the Red Sox lineup is filled with all-stars and talent, yet they're really hurting. I know you pay attention to the league still. Have you watched the Sox? And, and where would you go if you're going to dispense some hitting advice? There's a lot to go around. Um, I think, you know, when you're struggling and you're pitching and you're, and you're giving up leads, you know, um, you you know, you, you made some errors, you strike out in a key situation, just like, you know, good things that go on in the game that, that tend to, to, to multiply. And when you're playing well, it's the same when you're playing poorly and all of a sudden now, you know, you're, you're squeezing the bat a little bit harder. You're squeezing the ball a little bit, ball a little bit harder on the mound and we're not getting getting success just let's go back to the normal things that we know how to do there's been enough guys on that team Devers you know um Martinez Kike um Bogarts that know how to win let's talk about doing the little things I know they don't play small ball anymore now in the major leagues Maybe this would be a good time to start doing some some things to get people in motion and and moving runners. But I think with that collective core, you have to go back and stop trying to hit home runs, have good at bats with men in scoring position, and just go out there with good thoughts and try to get yourself going again. How did you deal with slumps like this personally? I mean, you were a guy that was always on top of the plate. Uh, we noticed during the week, and maybe it was specific to the opponent, but the left-handed hitting Red Sox, Verdugo, Devers, when they tried to take swings against Shohei Otani on Wednesday afternoon, uh, Thursday afternoon rather, they were really back in the box. Would you ever move yourself around in the box if you were going cold? There's different things you can do. You can move around. You can move up. But the main thing is, you got to have a plan when you walk to home plate. You got to know what he's got that day, what you're looking for, what side of the plate you're looking for the ball on. All these different things have to be calculated when you're walking from the on deck circle to home plate and and figuring out what you got to do. You know, there's some there's some good, you know, that that guy is a is a nasty nasty guy. Oh, oh Tony does a has a lot of great things, but we have to have a plan of action of how we're trying to attack them. And every night it's a different plan because just every night it's a different pitcher. But we have to have a plan of attack about how we're going to go about guys and really try to capitalize and concentrate with men in scoring position. I know that's one of the things that analytics doesn't believe in is, you know, batting average with one in scoring position, but that's how you win. So we really got to focus in that area. Yeah, I'm going to say it for you, the back in my day line, because uh, the, the Sox just got through with the White Sox and it was not a great series. But when I think of those two teams getting together, I mean, I can remember matchups with the likes of you back in my day, the big hurt from the other side of the plate back in my day. Uh, and I know that you and Frank Thomas are pretty close and, and you guys were the two most feared hitters in the American League at one point. When did you guys get close, and do you still keep in touch? We were very close. I mean, I, I played Frank as a freshman in college. I went down to Huntsville, Alabama. I was at Seton Hall, and he beat me to go to the World Series in that in that uh, in that Huntsville Regional. And we've been close ever since. You know, such a great guy. What a great player. Um, a great human being. Uh, a guy I looked up, I looked up to, he came up earlier than I did. So he had the, you know, all the information and, but he was just a, a, a good friend. He still is a good friend works with me right now with MVP collections. Um, a great hall of famer and ambassador to the game. We, you know, we get him on Fox now, you know, for world series, just doing a lot of good stuff. I'm very happy for him. 
You know, one of the things that all of our uh, spread guys have in common, uh, David Wells, Gary Sheffield, yourself, all you guys like to fish, and you're all pretty accomplished fishermen. I don't know if we have an image or video of something you just reeled in uh, or just spend time on the boat, and you're in Florida. Do you take this out to fish mow, or is this just recreational boating? No, that one's a center, con con you know, a center console, about 40 feet. We go deep sea. We go intercoastal. It's outboards, but it's just, you know, it's been the most relaxing thing I've gotten into in my life, you know, basically just getting out there on the water, relaxing, you know, taking in that, that, that type of lifestyle down here, here has been very, very rewarding for me. And I enjoy get if I could get on that boat every morning for a couple hours, I would. I think we'd all be right there with you. Mo, it's always good visiting with you, man. Thanks for your time. As always, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, have a good week, brother.